Hey guys, so it is Sunday and it's about 5.50 right now and I just got back from running some errands with my sisters. We went to the mall and we went to Ulta and then um, I left and I went home to my grocery store because I have been stalking Pinterest because I've been craving chicken alfredo for the longest time and I've tried to make it multiple times and I feel like the canned alfredo sauce just doesn't taste good like when you buy it from the grocery store I feel like the canned stuff just tastes like throw up or something I don't know it tastes really weird so I looked up on Pinterest like ways to make your own um, alfredo so that's what I'm gonna be doing and I figured I would show you guys the ingredients and talk you through how to do it okay so I got two large chicken breasts which is what the recipe called for on Pinterest um, I'm trying to make it semi healthy ish so um, it said to get olive oil but I already had extra light olive oil and then it said to get chicken broth oh man I didn't get the low sodium one Ugh. whatever it'll work um, I thought I got the low sodium one but I got chicken broth Parmesan cheese um, heavy cream it said and then I got some whole grain pasta and um yeah yeah i'm super excited about it and hopefully it turns out good because i've been craving this forever um and then i just picked up again some of my favorite yogurts i got the giovanni strawberry uh blueberry and vanilla and they're just the simply 100 they're just uh the simply 100 ones so those are really good and then i got some Glade Febreze and then I got some stuff from Ulta that I guess I guess I'll just show it in this one uh, Let me see if I can put it on my table Bam. Okay, so when we were at Ulta all the NYX stuff was 40% off so Which is really exciting because I went there specifically for NYX products before I even knew it was 40% off so I went in there for these palettes which are the new NYX Aviant Pop palettes and normally they're about like $16 each and I got them for $10 so I got those and then I got two NYX butter glosses that I've been wanting to try um, this is Angel Food Cake and then I got Eclair which they're kind of similar but one's a little bit darker and then I got two of the new Maybelline lipsticks see uh, one of them is in clay crush and the other one is blushing pout and these are honestly the most gorgeous colors like I I just can't even handle it um, I'll take them out of the packaging and I'll show you guys so this one is the blushing pout and then this one is the clay color and I I don't know I just love them so much they're so pretty and this color is probably my favorite out of the two just because it's such a pretty pinky nude color so that's what I picked up at Ulta here is a better close-up of one of the color or one of the palettes I feel like these are colors that I don't have and I feel like they'd be fun to play around with for summer so I got this one and then I got this one because I feel like it'd be really really pretty on like brown eyes and I saw Casey Holmes do a video on her eyes with this palette and it was just really really pretty so those are the two that I got and I was really excited all of this was only $40 I saved over $20 so it's really really good and I'm super excited to play around and film stuff with these Hey guys, so I figured that I would film right now because I have been trying to update my computer, get the free trial of Final Cut Pro, and try and figure it all out, and it is just not happening. My computer does not have the storage or space for any of the things that I need it to for Final Cut Pro to work properly, I feel like. So I'm downloading iMovie again and it's just, I've been trying all weekend to edit and import some of the stuff that I filmed because I really want to get a video up this weekend and it's just taking so long. So I'm just waiting for iMovie to upload but I wanted to tell you guys because I don't think I've talked to you since it's happened but last weekend I got my wedding dress and 
It was probably the most amazing day that I've had in such a long time. Ugh, I'm getting like goosebumps right now just talking about it. I don't know why. Like, I, f I didn't think that I would get really emotional or like, I don't know. I'm... I like to say that I'm not an emotional person, but like when it comes to me and my wedding, I have just become like the world's biggest crybaby. Not like being snotty or bratty, but just like everything is so sentimental to me that like I just burst into tears. So this has just all happened, like me crying and stuff like recently. So like I'm going in to pick out my wedding dress and I have my three sisters, my mom, and then Dylan's mom. And we went to this bridal shop um, close to where I live. And the first dress I tried on because I kind of had an idea in my head of sort of what I wanted. But I wasn't 100% sure. Um, I had an idea in my head of kind of what I wanted. So I had the sales lady. Um, me and her went and picked out some dresses. And the first dress that I tried on, I was like, e like everyone was like, oh my gosh. Like that looks so beautiful. Like it's perfect. And even I, like I loved it. And I, I was like, this is it. Like, I, first dress I tried on, like, this is my dress. And so they are like, well, no, no, like, let's just keep trying them on, see what you like, see if you like something better. And I was like, okay. So, like, I tried on everything else, but nothing compared to that first dress. And so I was like, well, should I get it or should we keep looking? And they were like, well, we have another appointment at another bridal store, so um, let's just go there. And we'll see, you know, if you like anything better there. If not, we'll come back and we'll get this dress because it, like, I, like, everybody loved it. So I was like, okay. And so we go eat lunch and then we go to the next bridal shop and I picked out a few dresses. And, like, me looking at them on the hanger, I was like, no, like, I'm not, I'm not going to find anything that I like. Like, I still love the other one so much, and I tried on, I think it was, like, maybe two dresses, and we were, every, like, I walked out, and we were just like, no, like, I don't like it, and then I came out in this one dress, and when I first tried it on, like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, I liked it, I thought it was pretty, but then I walked out, and we tied, like, this beaded belt around it, and she, and I was like, oh my god, like, I, like I started getting goosebumps and I was like oh my gosh like this is beautiful and so she was like well let me put on a veil and that'll like that'll tell you like if you if, if it's your dress or not so she put on my veil and my youngest sister was um, taking pictures for me so I could see like all the dresses and she was like oh my gosh like I think I'm about to cry and I was like you don't cry because if you cry like I'm gonna cry and so then, like, I just got, like, tears in my eyes, and I was, like, like, no tears came out, but, like, my tear just, like, welted up, and I was, like, oh, my God, like, this is my dress, and, um, but I was, like, but let's keep looking, like, you don't know, like, that's what I thought about the last one, so we kept looking, and every time I came out, like, all I was thinking about was the dress, and so, um, I tried on a few, and I was, like, can we put the other one back on, like, let's just do it one more time, and so I put it on, and the lady zipped me up, and, like, uh, tightened it and put all the little clips on so it fit me right and like I just had like this huge like feeling just like come over my body and it was like this is real like you're really getting married like this is gonna be your dress like this is your dress and I don't know like it all just like sunk in like instantly and like I immediately just got like goosebumps and I came out she put the veil on me and like I was standing there on the little pedestal thing in front of the mirror and all my sisters and my mom and Dylan's mom were there and I just like I just couldn't stop smiling and then like I just looked at my mom and I just started crying and I just like put my hands over my eyes and I just like was crying like happy tears and it was just like the most amazing thing ever and the lady was like are you saying yes to the dress and I was like yes and it was just so much fun and it was just so amazing so that happened and then um we're going this coming up weekend to buy my veil because it's going to be half off this coming up weekend which is always a plus because wedding things are so expensive but it was just so amazing and i'm so excited to order it have it ordered and try it on and get like fitted so it'll like really fit me properly i'm just so excited and 
yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm not going to show you guys pictures just because Dylan watches my videos and I don't want him to see it. But yeah, it's it was so amazing. I just had to tell you guys.